Don't be afraid. We are going to get to the Lions a little later, but we wanted to put this to bed. Do the Harlan Barnett conversation and then just lay out guidelines for at whatever point we start talking coaches at MSU. Yeah, I I know. We're just two poverty-stricken Sparties who are barely, you know, of of reading capability. We're barely literate. Uh, We have a standard to hiring our next coach. And I'm sorry that others at this station don't feel that way. Pat Narduzzi. 60. Chris Creighton. Yeah, thanks, Wojo. Let's go get food stamp Santa. I mean, you, you'd, think, you'd think Rico and I went to Abilene Christian. Good Lord. <laughs> David, you're laughing. What's the problem? What have I so said? the Abilene Christian. I mean. Yeah, you went to Ferris State. Yeah, Rico and I are La Tech graduates. Proud uh, sons of Ruston, right. Louisiana. Okay. Let's go to the people, shall we? Yep. Let's go to Todd, 97.1. Hi, Todd. Hey, Mike and Rico. Just want to throw out a name of uh, Michigan State. Former Spartan Pat Shermer seems like a character guy. Both you guys kind of know him, if not from the Giants, but from Michigan State's football program. He's got uh, legacy or whatever with his uncle Fritz. If some people remember him with the Green Bay Packers defensive coordinator and the, uh, the L.A. Rams. What are your thoughts on it? The dude's 58, 57, whatever that number is. Where are you at on that? I, I'm I'm uh I'm a no, but I think it'll be more entertaining to hear what Mike has to say about this. <laughs> Did you just hang up on him? Yep. <laughs> no on Shermer. Man, this is some GD <laughs> nonsense. <laughs> What is this, the coaching search of 2005? For those who don't know, Mike just threw his headset and walked out the room. (laughs) This is in 2005. Let me just say this. What is it that people can't, you know, guys, guys, do me a kindness. I'm not asking for anybody to act that we are anything other than what we are. We are currently a bottom third program in the Big Ten. We are currently a team that has some problems. But in the grand scheme of things. Actually, reality, we're in the middle third. Middle third. (laughs) Middle third. (laughs) Why is it you can't call this radio show and just act like Michigan State is, I don't know, a top 25, top 30 program in America? By every metric, they are. No, 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 because what I think that gentleman – is getting caught up in the whole you need to have some type of ties to the university. Why? You don't. You need to win. You can come from wherever. If you win, guess what? You are the new legacy there. Plain and simple. Just win. But you don't have to bring some back somebody who was related to somebody who once played, who once did what that. What about Brad Van Pelt? Don't, 248. Don't get caught up in that. And I think that's what that person was referring to, well, he's a Spartan. You bring him back. We keep, you know, we keep it in the family, Mike. Let's go to Tim, 97.1. Tim, what's going on? Uh, not much, guys. I just listening to the call and our, you know, everybody and a name I haven't heard. I wanted to throw out there before you threw your names out there, Mike. Go uh, ahead. Go, go ahead. Oh, okay. Uh, Butch Jones. You know, I think you know. I don't think you're going to have to pay an arm and a leg. I don't know why he's at Arkansas State, why he took that job. You know, he was saving a couple of years after. But Jones right is going to get fired at Arkansas State. He cried on the sidelines two weeks ago. They lost seventy-three to nothing. Butch Jones is ass. Butch, you know, Lawrence Tech wouldn't hire Butch Jones. You can't hire a crying coach. <laughs> I think there's a rule somewhere in the NCAA bylaws. Hey, hey, he's the, he's from Saga Talk. You know what? This may not be fun for most people. I'm being entertained. I almost want people to call with ridiculous no. names. <laughs> no, but you know who I blame? I blame our coworkers. 
That's who I blame because they propagate this stuff. Hell, but Jason Candle? I hear that. The guy's been in Toledo for nine years. You're going to die in Toledo. Okay. Hope you enjoy the glass bowl. That's your burial plot. We've had Tony Anise, Butch Jones, Pat Shermer. And it's like, I'm not asking people to call up and go, you know what, guys, in a serious note, they should go after Nick Saban. I would laugh at you. Okay? <laughs> I laugh at the Deion Sanders stuff. Right, Deion, I laugh I get at it. a lot of it. But... Because he's, he's that hot name right now. Go steal another Colorado coach. Deion's not making much money at it Colorado. It shows you how the Metro Detroit area has been programmed to view MSU. That is really what this is. This is a psychological study happening in real time. I don't think that people can under, they can only see MSU so far. And it blows their mind when all of a sudden they're good. That, the, the years between 13 and 15 was magical because people didn't know what to say. 13 and 15? Dude, they won the Big Ten in 10. They played for it no, again no, in I'm 11. Saying, but but between, eight, between 13 and 15 when they were like one of the elite schools. And it's like, well, Michigan State's not supposed to be this good. What the heck is going on? You, you only see them as being bad. You only want them to be bad. And you only want them to get mediocre and be, coaches. And be honest about it. And don't waste time calling a radio show and telling me you should hire Pee Wee Herman. Oh He's I, dead. I'm a guy that knows nothing about sports. Nothing. And I know that having local ties means nothing. nothing. Butch Jones is literally on his last legs in Jonesboro, Arkansas. Okay, seriously, Roberto, he cried. Let, R- oh, Roberto, TV. if you were a head coach, you'd be Butch Jones. He <laughs> cried on oh, the sideline. Like, and I agree like with the, the not, I agree with the not hiring and part. And you had to go home. <laughs> like, it's, it's Arkansas State. You're going to take this check. You're going to take this beat down. Well, but I thought we could win. No, you didn't. What are you crying for? <laughs> can, you, can you stay in studio, please? I've been here the whole time. I know. <laughs> I'll just go to Brian. 97 1. It can't get worse. Brian, Brian can't be worse. Go ahead, Brian. Hey, I was just gonna say with uh Runyon had me on the edge a couple weeks ago when after all the Harbaugh stuff, it was allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. And then B Days pushed me off this morning with the Harlan Barnett stuff. Um the other caller stole my thunder with Pat Shermer. Um that's sarcasm. <laughs> I want to go to Bernardo Hill. Oh, Bernardo Hill man. He played under Saban. Yeah, he's no. out in D.C. with the Chargers. Brian, game coordinator. There are he's two from notes. Detroit. He can repair that relationship. There are two notes with him, and Rico, you may be able to speak more accurately on it. I don't know that Ronaldo even cares about Michigan State, and I don't know that Ronaldo's always been an NFL coach. Mm-hmm. I don't know that he has any designs on that. I mean, Rico. no, no, you're right. Ronaldo will stay at D.C. waiting for his chance to coach an NFL team. To take a college job would be considered a step back for him. He'd rather stay D.C. He'd rather stay D.C. because no, it means on. it hold means on. you you're going to be in the NFL. You're not paying Ronaldo Hill nine million dollars. No. That that's a that's a non-starter. That's not how that works. To get a coach already making five or six, who's built a pro like look, I don't want to do names, Brian, but if you want one, I'll give you one. So here's a name where I wouldn't be furious about it. I could work my way to understanding it. But if you said to me, Mike, do you want to hire Chris Kleiman from Kansas State? As long as uh, Colin Klein, his OC, comes with him, they've built a consistent winner in the Big 12, a team that can beat the good teams, a team that recruits. They understand how to do it. If you told me that, I'd go, all right, you know, for for eight, eight, nine million bucks, that's what you're going to get. Now, that's still not the direction I want to go. That's still a little bit too folksy of a hire for me. But... Listen, when guys are in the NFL, they've chosen the career path and very rarely are they going to leave to become a head coach and do something they've never had to do. Mm -hmm. If you've never had to build a program, if you've never been a part of a program. Well, here's the other thing. Guys from the NFL, look at Bill O'Brien. You better know it's part-time and you better have your coach in waiting already on the staff because – if he comes here, then he's leaving. If he's remotely successful right. and an NFL job open, it's why Ben Johnson is not an option. Can you ring the bell, please? Just for, for yourself. Not for me. Right. For but you. It's, it, it's, he's not an option because he comes to Michigan State, Michigan State wins the Big Ten, and he's 
gone. So you better have his replacement hired with him right. because it's – You're attempting to hire a coach. Man, you're not even putting a Band-Aid on. You know what you're putting on? Those little round dot Band-Aids that just fall off the second it gets wet. That's right. what you're doing. MSU's job is to hire a coach and make him one of the 10 highest paid guys in America. Why? Because once you're there, you're not leaving. Mm -hmm. Once you're there, you don't have to worry about being outbid. And when you hire someone from the NFL, see, I'm not mad, Brian. You brought up a name. Right. You, you tried. Hey, here's a Spartan who's been in the NFL for a while. Respect. Don't be bringing that Butch Jones, Rudy Tony, a niece, Rudy Pooh nonsense up in here. You can take that to other day, Brian. No, you know, it's just, yeah. It, it's, it's like Creighton. people, well, I've had another one was the enemy, and I'm like, I think the enemy is just, Either he's just going to die a coordinator or Eric, they're going to give him a job in the NFL. Eric Bieniemy has some interpersonal skill issues. I don't think he'd be great on the recruiting trail. Like, this isn't too tough. It's not hard, right? It's not a difficult concept. NFL guys are NFL guys. And here's the other thing. I don't know if NFL guys want to deal with – I think college coaches may have it harder now because you – not only have to recruit, you got to recruit your current players. You got to make sure they're making the money. You have to be the GM and the coach. Mm -hmm. Whereas in the pros, I just got to coach these guys on Sunday and practice them during the week. That's the general manager's job to make them happy and pay them. College, it's turned into a CEO 365 deal. It's different. Yeah, you're wearing, I would never want to be a coach. Yeah, you're wearing multiple hats as a college coach that if you're an NFL guy, Dan Campbell only has to worry about his team. Brad, that's a you problem. That's not a me problem. You fix right. it. You're director of player personnel. You're director, the guy who handles the contracts. Like right. College coach handles everything now. You handle NIL, right. recruiting. You just start running back. Coach, you know, I need a little bit more money. I need to do this, so I'm thinking about leaving. Now I got to drop everything to make sure Mike's happy. Okay, what do I need to do for you?